Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Continuum Tips and Tricks. And for tonight's tip, I'd like to show you how to mirror your screen. In all instances of seeing the Lumia 950 and, and 950 XL used with a wireless display, I've only seen them used in Continuum mode, which is fantastic. Continuum is, is the way of the future. But what about the past, the way that we used to display our screen? What about all those apps and things that are not universal apps? What about Asphalt 8 and all those different games that we have been able to play on the big screen? Well, you can still do that, but how? Well, originally, I thought I can just, on my 950, do it the way I used to, which is swipe down and hit connect in the top left, and then select my wireless display adapter to project my screen. But what actually happens is that's just a shortcut to launch Continuum. So that no longer gets you to project your screen. And if I hit the Continuum tile, it's going to take me to the same place. So at first glance, it appears that there isn't a way to project the screen anymore. But all is not lost. There actually is a way to do so. And that's what I'll show you today. So what we'll do is from the touchpad, what you want to do is hit the settings icon in the top right, which are the three dots. And then you want to choose display settings. So under display settings, we're going to scroll down. We're actually change this. First, it's going to say main display. We're going to do display settings for the connected display. So we're going to hit the options there and then select connected display. What this does, it gives you a new set of options. We're going to hit advanced settings. And currently it defaults to use different apps on each screen, which is recommended because that's the essence of Continuum. You're able to use different apps on different screens. So on my television, I have the Continuum desktop environment. But then on my phone, I can go in and continue to use my phone as a phone, which is one of the awesome things about it is you can use all these different apps that you would normally use on your phone without any interruption. So I can go in and use my movies and TV and continue watching a the movie there. Doing all these different things on my phone while in the background, I still have my desktop environment that's totally separate. But what we want to do is cast the screen today. So I'm gonna go back to my touchpad and go back in the settings. Settings in the top right, display settings, Make sure it's on connected display, advanced settings at the bottom, and I want to mirror what's on my device. So as soon as you click that, it changes to what's on your device. And so you get the old way of doing it, the way it was done in Windows Phone 8.1 or the way it's done on Android and iOS devices, where it just simply mirrors what's on your display. So whatever's on there shows on your screen. And this is great for when you want to play games. So I can go into my games folder, which is on here somewhere. And let's see. We're going to scroll that over and go right into games. And I can play one of my favorite racing games, which unfortunately isn't that well supported. Probably hadn't had an update since it came out. But it's still a nice looking game and it's fun. And so now I can play my games and things on the big screen like we have been doing for the last two years or more. Um, and you can go back in. Basically, this isn't anything new as far as how this is being done. Because um, it's the same way it's been done all this time. And as you notice, the audio is continuing to play, um, which is kind of a bug, but it's kind of a part of continuum as well. So Continuum is able to play that audio in the background. Um, I'm going to close those apps out. And we'll just go from there. One thing I did want to point out is it has rearranged my tiles to where now I only have three columns instead of four. But the neat thing about that, it will put those back when I choose Continuum again. So right now I'm projecting my screen the old fashioned way. But as soon as I hit Continuum, it takes me back to the Continuum desktop, but it also puts my tiles back to four columns 
which I really like that Microsoft coded that in. I was worried the first time I saw it because I didn't think it was going to put them back and I didn't want to set my start screen up all over again. So there you have it. There is a way to mirror your screen to be able to play games and use apps that are not yet universal apps. So all is not lost, even though reviewers and so forth, including myself, have only shown continuum when it's used a wireless display, but you can actually still project your screen. And as a recap really quick, you want to go back into your touchpad, settings in the top right, display settings. You don't want main display, you want to change that to connected display, advanced settings at the bottom, and then mirror what's on my device. That will get you back to the old project my screen, which just shows all the different things that are on your screen. And this will enable you to be able to use apps like Hulu and other programs that are not yet available. Um, so you can play games and things like that that you can't play in Continuum yet. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helps as far as when someone gets their new device and they want to still be able to cast their screen. It's awesome having both modes. You can play games on the big screen just as we've been able to, but then you can also have the awesome desktop environment that you've been um, accustomed to. And whenever you want to switch it back, that's when you can just swipe down. And I really hope they get a landscape mode because it's kind of ridiculous to still have to have things in portrait mode and they show up sideways. So Microsoft, if you're listening, please give us a landscape start screen. Please. Hey, Symbian had it. Android has it sometimes. Even iOS has a landscape start screen or not start screen, home screen, depending on the device. So please let us have a landscape start screen. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. If not, well, I tried. And on the next episode of Continuum Tips and Tricks, eh, I'll figure out what I can show. If you guys have any questions, anything you'd like to see, feel free to see the comments section. Ask away and even give me tips that I may not know about. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.